up to another good, good morning, time to go Got that smile upon my face, cause there's excitement What's up everyone, China Cycling, and this is my Lazy Inflator G Kit, aka The Lick, and I'm going to show you just how it works. So my G Kit has two parts, the first part is this, this is a battery powered inflator, it goes up to, let me see, what's it go up to? 130, 140, 150 psi, this bad boy goes up to. It's slow to inflate, but it gets the job done, and you don't need a pump. Charges for you, as you can see, super cheap. I'll put some links down below. Uh, if you're just wearing clinch tires, or if you just want to top off the air, then this is all you need. Uh, this, basically most of my tires, I inflate using this these days. Uh, it's a lot less energy, and you can choose a specific PSI, press go, and it'll stop when it gets to that PSI. So usually, before I get on the ride, put it on my tire, choose a PSI, hit go, go put my shoes on or whatever, by the time I come back, the tire's already good to go. Do the other tire, go get my pump and stuff or whatever, put in my pockets, and by the time I come back, the other tire's ready to go too. Both of my tires are exactly the pressure I want, uh, zero sweating, zero effort required. So this little guy is cool. Now the second little part uh, of the lick kit is this, a fire extinguisher, but it's an empty fire extinguisher. But it's a fire extinguisher with a little bit of a difference. It's been modified to accept a Schrader valve. So you can pump in air through here, charge this up, and then put this on your tubeless tire and just inflate it in a sec. Uh, the air goes out super, super fast. It'll see even the hardest of tires uh, this thing can hold up to like 400 psi or something crazy, so more than that. Uh, there's no valve on here, but basically a way to do it is whatever pressure you put in here, the pressure that goes into the tire in the end can't possibly exceed that. So let's say your tire or your rim uh, combination is rated to a maximum of like 75 psi, uh, but if you put like 80 psi in here or 90 psi, uh, there's no way the end pressure is going to be above 75. So, uh, Let's have a little go. Okay, so first let's choose the pressure. Uh, we'll go for 100. We'll start with 100 psi today. Okay. Remove the little dust cap. And so this pump works with Schrader or Presto valves, but the way it works is there's an adapter on there. So because we're using Schrader, we take off the Presto adapter and then we can just screw on the Schrader directly. So we've got them nice and tight because we're going to be dealing with 100 psi. Okay. And press go. A few moments later. Okay, so now we've got our tubeless tire. You can see I'm unseated. Uh, that's the whole rim. It's unseated on both sides. Uh, just make sure. That obviously it's covering the valve hole, loosen the valve. Uh, I'm not even going to take out the valve core, but if you have a, a really stubborn setup, you can take it out, but so far I've not needed to. And then put this guy over here like so. Press him on tight, but, and then three, two, three, two, one. Now I can see some of our tire isn't fully seated, so we get this. Night here, right? That's enough. Boom. <laughs> Perfectly seated, uh, perfectly inflated, tubeless with zero effort on my part. Thank you, technology. Yeah. So just now that tire and wheel combination is actually super easy. I can seat it with a normal floor pump anyway. But this combination, this WDP tire, WTB tire, always gives me, always gives me abuse. So as you can see, we're totally off the rim. Let's give this one a try. Again, not taking the valve core out, so I'll see if that gets it done, make sure we're all around, and uh, let's see.
three, two, one. Done. Wow. Let's check how much pressure we ended up with. Yeah, so bigger tire, we started with 120 psi in there and we ended with about 20 psi in here. So use this. 30 psi, done, ready to ride. So like I was saying, part of the irony is that like the high for wheels and most tires like GP5000 or Schwabe actually go together really well and you can just see them with a the hand pump. So if I show you this, for example, to look where both of the beads are totally off. So yeah, if you have good wheels and good tires, a normal track pump will seat them easily. But if you have a bad combination of tires and wheels, and sometimes it is just a bad combination, you know, both are decent brands, but they're just not playing well together, then uh, you can use the old fire extinguisher trick. Uh, if you can't buy a fire extinguisher, they're like proper tubeless boozy canisters, which are essentially the same thing. Uh, just probably a bit more like this cost me like 68 from the B, which I think is like what 12 bucks or something, so that works well for me. And then to boost the canister up or just to do your tire pressure every day, I also recommend something like this the Xiaomi uh, USB C portable battery powered air pump. Like I say, if you're like me and you're lazy, then this takes care of everything and just makes everything easier. So there you have it the, uh, the kiss. The lick kit. Build one yourself, the links down below. Uh, or let me know what you guys are using, let me know in the comments down below, there's always some good stuff there. If I see some good comments, I'll try and put them on the top. Uh, and yeah, China Cycling out.